Substantial monthly payouts and safety? Want 10% guaranteed returns and upsides to 16% on your money? Want secured returns on a short-term investment to park your cash? Then call National Realty. Hey, everyone. Let's see how I turn this down. Oh, okay, it's Monday morning, and it's actually 11.30. And today is one of those days. I did a few things around the house. I've gotten into this clean out phase again so I'm given I've got a whole box of stuff going that I am now this this lipstick may get on my Invisalign because I have people ask me that normally I don't have that problem but you know I usually wear nudes and um, so we'll see if this one gets on my Invisalign it's um, the Marc Jacobs kiss kiss bang bang with Lancome ideal liner and um, it's a good one. I don't have any eye makeup on today, so <laughs> I just didn't feel like it. I knew I was not going um, anywhere. Like, I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere but get something, get a salad for lunch, and um, I might go sit with my mom for a little while. And I am gonna run in the grocery store. Um, John gets everything that we need, and then I usually run in there and get either things that he doesn't think about or just um, I wanted to make the, start making the kids grilled cheese sandwiches in the mornings. Both of them, I don't know about your kids, but my kids don't like to eat breakfast that much. Like Will will eat something sweet, like not just anything, but you know, if I get like pumpkin muffins or you know, something like that. Um, but um, Anyway, both of them will eat a grilled cheese if I make it in the morning real quick. So what I usually do is just, you know how you do, just leave the pan out, make it real easy, real quick, that you can do it, and then clean up later. And um, so I'm gonna stop by the grocery store, and I think that's gonna be it. But I just wanted to try to vlog a little bit every day, tell you, it's really neat. I, I forgot how much I missed it because there's a lot of things I'd like to say or tell you guys, you know, and it's not enough to make a video, or it's not, I don't know, I feel like it's not important enough, which is silly, because when I see the things people do videos on, it just, I'll never understand YouTube, which I know I'm older, but I'll never understand, like, what gets to be so popular on YouTube, the videos and stuff. It just seems like it's, I don't know, People get more and more outrageous and negative just to get views and that's just weird to me um, because that's not what I want to see but I realize that like I said I'm older and um, might be a fuddy-duddy I don't know I think I'm pretty I think I'm pretty cool <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that I'm not I'm not approved for sure I'm pretty open-minded I don't know I guess I'm not open-minded on some things um, you know I don't like a lot of just craziness but anyway you guys know what I'm talking about but um, this is something I've been meaning to tell you about too that I do a lot you remember this fragrance that I was telling you I love so much well now I keep it in the car it's the Mason Louise Marie number four Bois de Valencourt and I love keeping it in the car because I put it on when I get in here a lot of times, especially on days like the day. And um, it's light. I keep it right here in my car, in this little compartment over here. And um, now my car smells like it. Anytime, you know, somebody gets in my car, they talk about how good it smells or how good I smell or something. And I love that because this car is older. It's an 03. It's the same age as Will. <laughs> and um, it just had that, I don't know, not really, it's not like it was musty or anything, but it just didn't smell new, you know? And it didn't have my smell in it yet. Um, usually cars that I've been driving a while will smell like me. They'll smell like fragrance. I guess the seatbelt and stuff like that. So um, that's a good one for the car because it's kind of light. It's not too heavy and it just everybody seems to like it it's just it, that's the one that makes me feel so happy when i put it on so 
um, anything else. John and I are still watching Ray Donovan and loving it. I'm catching so much stuff. You know, normally I wouldn't watch something, a whole series twice. Um, except for Sex in the City. <laughs> I've watched that a million times. And I did watch uh, Mad Men uh, again with Brooke, but it was a couple years later. And um, that's something I really liked too. But um, Ray Donovan, whew, that's a good one. <laughs> he is the prime example of swag. That is for sure. And see, every time they go... Okay, so I just left Marshall's. I went in Victoria's Secret to see if um, there was anything else in that collection that I wanted. And I didn't get anything. And before I, before I tell you where else I went, I was going to tell you that um, I left my phone. Sorry, I was paying attention. I left my phone at home and I feel totally freaked out. I mean, totally freaked out. So, I went in the Victoria's Secret store again, and then I thought, well, I'm gonna go over to Marshall's and see if they have any towels that I like, because I'm redoing all my towels. You know, every once in a while, you just have to throw out all your old towels. They've gotten just raggedy looking. Hold on to me. Hold on to you while I'm taking this curve. And, um, so, Oh, I forgot to put something up here. here let me just hold it. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I went to Marshall's. I didn't get anything. I'm just, it's one of those days. I'm just not in the mood to even shop. <laughs> Terrible, huh? And, um, here, hold on. Anyway, I was saying that I left my phone at home. I don't know what in the world got into me. I was kind of just flustered when I was leaving. And um, so now I feel totally freaked out. But I am going to just go get my typical um, Saxby salad. And then I think I'm going to um, stop by my mom's real quick and see her. And then I'm going to go home and get my phone, make sure that the kids haven't been trying to get up with me or anything. And, um, so I will probably see you guys tomorrow. Tuesday. It's 11.55. I usually do stuff around the house and then get out about this time. And, um, oh goodness, the trash bag. And, um, today I have to go to the post office, which I don't know if you've noticed, I don't go to the post office every day like I used to ever since we got a great big ugly mailbox. We got one of those huge mailboxes. And um, so now I can usually just put all my packages, even the big ones in there. And now if I ship over, I mean, out of the country, a lot of times John will do it on the computer. He can do the customs form on the computer. And, um, but today I had sent a package to someone in Kuwait and I should have known better, but I did it and now um, it's lost and so I'm going to go see if they can tell me anything but they probably won't be able to and then I've got two packages that John couldn't fit in there I told him I would go ahead and take to the post office 
and then I'm gonna go get some lunch and then my mom has my niece today but my niece is really I've never really loved Halloween that much <clears throat> but I'm sure it's because when I was growing up there wasn't as much you know stuff out there but I really have never I mean even as an adult I don't love Halloween that much but I know kids do and she the other day was telling me about her mama told her that she was gonna have a spooky party and all this stuff and just going on and on about Halloween and my mom said that she was really really into it oh I hate to stop me somebody comes behind me but um so I grabbed her um I grabbed her a few things but today I'm just gonna take her a little I grabbed her one of those little cute little pumpkins and then I got um, her mom my sister-in-law a real pretty here's one of them there's two different designs there's this one and then I was gonna let her pick out which one she wants let me get this one stopped here in trap ah. okay and then there's this one so one with the glasses and one with the bow tie and hold on take a u-turn here So I thought I would let her pick one out for um, her mom and then give one to my mom to drink their coffee out of. I just thought they were pretty. And then at two o'clock, I have my nail appointment. I've been needing, I hate it when, and I don't go as long as some people do. I only go, I think this is two weeks, but you can see how they're grown out a little bit and I hate that. And um, especially since I had these new, you know, I had them changed and had new tips put on. And so they're really not the real shape of my nail yet. They don't get your real shape until they've grown all the way out. See how you can see my nail is almost, I mean, it's growing out, but it's not the whole way. Once your nail grows all the way out, it's just prettier, I think, because it's more the real shape of your nail. And um, so I'm going to get my nails filled in. And I told them last time I was there that I was going to get a dark color. They had this real pretty dark, gelish color. I can't remember. It wasn't Bordeaux, but it was a color kind of like that. It was just a one word. But he said it was one of their most popular. But I just don't know if I'm ready for a dark color yet. So I probably will just do another new day. Okay, I'm at Saxby's. I just ordered my salad. Um, I kind of wanted something different today. But um, Saxby's is close. And I have things to do so I just went to the post office and um, I wanted to I thought about this two questions that I got on my last vlog um, one is when I was talking about doing the intermittent fasting and like how I love to wait until two o'clock to eat I don't get to do that every day like today it's um, 1230 but I just know if I don't eat now I won't get to eat at two o'clock and then I'll be really really hungry um, so I adjust that. I just wait as long as I can to eat in the morning. And then someone asked, do I consume anything before that time? I do. I drink, you know, like if you were a coffee drinker, you could drink coffee. I drink Diet Sun Drop in the morning because that's my caffeine. And then I might have, um, you know, that ice water drink um, after that or whatever. A lot of times I just don't have anything until um, I go out. And so I want to tell you that so you can have drink or whatever and that keeps you from getting hungry and then I was just what made me think about this is I was just going to take out my Invisalign and um, someone asked me they said they just got Invisalign do I take off some of my lipstick here <laughs> um, do I put them back in and you know yes I do because you can't you're not supposed to wait that long without you know putting them back in what you can do is have a bottle of water in your car so that you can rinse them out if that cooks you out but I used to do that in the beginning you know in the beginning you're real freaked out about everything but now what I usually do is take them out put them in my little um, container and I wash this every night when I soak my Invisalign and so what I do is put them in there, eat, and then I, you know, floss, brush with those little disposable brushes, and then I chew gum. My favorite is, uh, 
the Mentos. And see, I keep all of my, um, this little thing that one of my subscribers sent me. It is full of, I don't know if you can see, but that's the toothpicks and the toothbrushes. So after lunch, I just grab one of these and um, two of these, one for the upper and one for the lower. And then I chew gum. And by that time, my teeth are pretty clean. And I do just put those back in. I guess that could be gross, but I mean, it's your own <laughs> it's your own germ, so. Um, but if it does bother you, you could rinse them out. Because I just put these in, and I just brushed my teeth. I just brushed these this morning, so they're pretty clean. And that's it. Do you know what the data that is? Do you need them short? Just however much they grew out, you know what I mean? Okay. However you hit them last time was perfect. What's the most popular color right now? That dark. Really? Should I do it? A lot of people go for that dark color. Yeah, okay, let's do it. If I don't like it, I'll just come change it. I've been doing the OPI one. Which one? Similar to that shade. With um, Magala wine, 38. Oh, Malaga wine. Malaga wine. Especially last week when fall started. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's kind of quiet in here today. It is. Slow down a little bit. <clears throat> <laughs> Very fancy. Supposed to block out more dust. Yeah, I know. I know you probably get so much.
But when I started, there was another guy, uh -huh. but he left a few months after I started. Yeah. You ran and him off. <laughs> no. <Couldn't hang. laughs> yes. And then, um, a few months ago, there was a new guy. He worked for like a week, uh -huh. and he left. It's not a baby baby, but something that easy to use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's me here. He's not here. Yeah, my grip's good. That's nice. Could you make a meet in No, because it's <laughs> it not at all. How long do most people go before they come get a fill down? Two weeks? Two to three. I've done ponchos and sweaters. And they'll grow out slower. Yeah. They go like about three weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did a whole couple of years. Remember Jimmy Gross? What? Jimmy Gross. Jimmy? Yeah. Have you ever? Do you have a Do I have? 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 What does that do to keep it clean and smooth under there? Yeah, I'm glad. I'm... Yeah. I don't want any funkiness under there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep this car in 
the garage because like I've told you before the um, cats sleep in the garage at night which we have an air condition they have beds they have two litter boxes food and water they get wet food when they go out there it's not a pitiful thing it's just the fact that they won't let us sleep we've, we've tried and tried um, to let them sleep inside but they just can't do it you know how cats are at night and um, so um, if I leave my car because it's a convertible in the garage they will pick the top Chanel picks everything anyway so I have to leave it outside John parks his truck in the garage and um, so anyway the trees drop stuff trees and the birds drop stuff on my car so I might run it through the car wash real quick and um, I just got this in the mail. I mean, this is this not Lux? It's a Bauman. I guess it's Bauman or Bauman Bauman lipstick from my friend Denise. Make this U turn. And I want to. I've got it on now. It's called. Sorry, I have to put something under this camera for it to stay. But the name of it is Confidence. I mean, look how pretty that is. So I just got it today, and I've got it on now with this real pretty light peach with like gold sparkles in it, and it would be great. I thought about putting it over something, like just in the middle, but then I, I wanted to kind of wear it and just see really what it looked like first. And so I've got it on with my um, Estee Lauder Nude. just thinking I've been in the car wash one time with this car and it didn't leak but since it's a convertible I don't know to be sure it won't I still see the bird stuff on the back I never I've only put the convertible down one time I'm so bad I need to put the um it's got like this windshield thing that goes back here windscreen and um, I need to put it in. Keeps your hair and everything from blowing around so much. But I've just got stuff back here. You know, I can't just, I need to get stuff out before I do that. So, plus it's still been so hot. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, I just left Chick-fil-A and I got a different salad. This one's really good. Okay, so here is my salad and it is a Goodness. I know it's a spicy something. Okay. Um, creamy salsa is the dressing. Oh, Southwest salad. That's what it is. And um, so this is what it looks like. It's got like shredded chicken on top. And I'm not a tomato lover. I don't mind like chopped tomatoes in like salsa or something like that. But I wonder if. Um, I'm gonna throw these out for the birds, I think. Here, hold on. <laughs> okay, and then here is the dressing, creamy salsa dressing. had this in a while. It's got corn and black beans and um, stuff like that in it. It looks like it's like romaine, all kinds of different lettuce, cabbage, and let's see. Yeah. I always love what's in the bag. 
Okay. Oh, work. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, okay. We've got some chili lime papitas that I will put on there. And let's see what time it is. It's 1.49. So it's about, I love waiting until, as long as I can to eat lunch. And then I never eat, um, even if we go out to eat, I never eat past, we always go early. I like to eat and I don't eat past 6.30 or 7 usually, unless something crazy happens holiday or something you know okay and here is seasoned tortilla strips so I will put those on there too and I know um, that this isn't like the most low carb or low whatever salad but it's still a salad it's still good for you and it's fulfilling and it's good for your system if you know what I mean and um, so I'll show it to you when it's all done it's so good Okay, so I've eaten my salad. It was so good. If any of you like, um, it was kind of like having chicken salad because once you put the dressing on that shredded chicken, it, you know, it was so good. I ate every bite. So that's a really good one if you're a salad lover like me. Um, this is that Fenty Beauty gloss and it is beautiful. Here's the box. And um, it's the only thing I have from Fenty Beauty. And Denise sent it to me, and I'm gonna put it on now, and it is so pretty. I actually had it out um, to show you last Friday, and it smells good. It's, I really like it. It's creamy, it's not too sticky. Um, I had it out to show you last week um, on my video, and then forgot. And so now, what was I gonna do? Oh, I was going to show you this gloss. Okay, now I am headed back towards home, and I'm going to put my Invisalign back in, and I will probably end this, and then I will see you on Friday.